Hey guys, this class is going to be purely on the back of your machine and with the cables that you have onto the rail of your carriage. We're going to stay on the back of the machine the whole time. It's basically just a class to show you all the things you can do with those cables on your carriage. So go ahead and move those there for me. Sorry, resistance bands, not cables. We are going to get started actually in a giant ab crunch two light springs right now. I have both of my resistance bands up on my carriage so they don't get in the way. My knees on the platform coming out to my modified plank. Forearms are down on the carriage and right here looking back at my knees crunching it in. I know it's heavier than we normally do it but I really want to get that core working hard right from the start. You're accentuating the rounding here by looking back at your knees, pulling your belly into your spine, nice tight core, really rounding here. We're not coming all the way out to our modified plank. We're just coming out until your shoulders are right above those elbows and then slowly pulling in and rounding and slowly releasing here. We're all going to hold it in, in five, in four, three, two, one, hold it in for me. Now come up and down, up an inch and down one, up one and down one. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, full range, 15 seconds. We're going to go into a super crunch, grabbing your resistance bands in five, in four, three, two, and one. Grab your resistance bands for me. Take a seat on your back platform. Bring your heels to the gap in your carriage or under your strap, whatever feels best to you, and quickly get into it here. We're going to bicep curl as we crunch up. You're not taking all the weight out of your core. You're mainly using the resistance part of your bands. Nice and low. Use that core to pull up towards your knees. Even if we didn't have any springs on, this one would still be challenging. Because of the motion here, your core is coming up so tight, so strong, pulling up into your knees here. Nice work. Keep going, everyone. Slow, slow, slow. Go ahead and come all the way down for me in five, in four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Your core is tight. It is strong. Your back is as low as you feel comfortable. Now slowly, just curl in and out. Your carriage is not moving. You're using the resistance part of those bands right here. Not taking any weight out of your core or your legs. You have seven, you have six, you have five, four, three, two, one. Hold that curl in, pulse your core up, up, up. You're holding your handles in, your arms in, and that curl just pulsing up, up. Here's five, here's four, three, two, one, full range of motion here. 15 seconds. Nice work, everyone. You're gonna take one of your springs off, come into one light. Make sure to put your other resistance band up on your carriage in five, four, three, two, one. So I'm gonna tuck my right hand here under the strap on my carriage so it doesn't get in the way. Taking one spring off, I'm going to come into a lunge on the side of my machine here. My left foot's down, my right foot's on the bottom, and I'm going into some bicep curls with my right arm. Slowly pulling that carriage in, slowly releasing it out. Now if this is too heavy, you can come closer to your carriage. So we are not coming out of that lunge the whole minute we're here. 
Four seconds curling in, four seconds releasing out. You have about 15 seconds here. We're gonna hold that curl in. In five, in four, three, two, one. Hold that curl up and in for me. Little dips into your left heel, dip down, 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 down. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Come down to the bottom of your lunge. Switch arms. Slowly row it up towards the left corner. Slowly release it down towards the right. So row up. You're not fully extending that arm. It's just coming up here and slowly dropping down. Sorry, it sounds like my baby's playing out there. Slow, slow, slow down. Slow, slow, slow up. Nice job. We're gonna hold it up in five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up for me right here. Little pulses up, up, up with that band. Here's seven, here's six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up, little dips down into your left heel. Here's eight, here's seven, six, right into your other arm in five, four, Three, two, one. Switch resistance bands here. Bicep curls on your other side. Remember, you can come closer to make it a little bit lighter. Go further to make it heavier. Now you're in a lunge on your other side here. Nice job. Nice, strong back, nice, strong core. You're not rounding. You're really dropping low into your left leg. Nice, square hips. Open chest. Chin is out of your chest. Let's hold that curl up for me in five, in four, three, two, one. Hold that bicep curl up. Little dips into the left heel and up, down and up. Here's seven, here's six, five, four, three, two, one. Switch arms, row, pull up to the diagonal here. From the left corner up to the right corner. Your hand stops once it reaches that right shoulder and slowly releases down. Nice, strong wrist. Don't let it collapse. You're staying low in your lunge. This is how we're warming up your legs. Remember, four long counts up, four long count down. We're holding it up in a little more than 10 seconds. In five, in four, in three, two, one. Hold it up for me right here. Little pulses up, up. Nice strong wrist. Here's seven, here's six, five, four. Feel that shoulder working. Here's three, two, one. Dip and hold that resistance band. Dip into the left heel. Here's seven, six, five. Add a second spring for me. In four, actually keep that spring in three, two, one. Right into some sexy back. So I'm going to bring my left knee onto my platform. I'm gonna lift that right leg up here, and I'm, sorry, my right knee. My left leg's up, slowly going into sexy back. Elbow stays completely still. It's at your rib cage. I'm gonna show you, just so you can see, your elbow's back. You're slowly sending that hand up, Feeling that tricep working. Remember that left leg is up. Hips are even. I want that right hip right over your right knee. Feel that tricep working so hard right here. Nice job. We're all holding it back in 10 seconds. 
in five, in four, three, two, one. Hold the arm back. Pulse that heel up for me for ten, for nine. Don't let the arm go. Here's seven, six. Keep holding your arm back. Feel that tricep working. Here's three, two, one. Now slowly pulse that hand back, back. Here's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Put that right handle under your strap on your carriage. Slowly right into the other side here. This time that right leg comes up. Your right leg is back. Your heel is at your booty height. Nice job. Now, if you want this to be more difficult, you can bring your left knee to the ground. You'll have more resistance to pull there. Your triceps should be burning out right now. Starting with all this arm work is lots of fun, right? We're all holding it back in 10 seconds. In five, in four, three, two, one. Hold that left arm back from me. Pulse your heel up. You have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it up. Little pulses with that hand. Here's five. Here's four, three, two, one. Out of second spring. We're going to go right into, grab your other candle, your other resistance band. We're going to go right into some deadlifts with curtsy. So what you're going to do here is you're going to stand up tall. The option is that right foot down on the ground or on the platform. Slight bend in your right knee. Resistance bands are in. Elbows are at your rib cage. Slowly come up. Let that left knee in. Bicep curl. As you come down, you're going to go into a curtsy, sending those left toes all the way to the right corner of the room. Bring them back, deadlift down, slowly lift up, bicep curl in. Nice job. So you're just alternating your curtsy with your deadlift. Nice job, everyone is so strong. That right leg is working so hard. And remember, you can also have that right foot up on your platform, whatever feels best to you. You might be able to get real into that curtsy a little bit more. I want everyone to feel how hard their abdominals are working for that curtsy. It's hard to stay stable and strong and your core is really what's allowing you to do so. Elbows stay to the side as you curtsy down and as you come down to the bottom of your deadlift. We're all going to meet at the bottom of your curtsy in five, four, left toes come to the right side in three, two, one. Come low, release the carriage, row it in. Release, row it in. Here's eight, here's seven, here's six, here's five, four, three, two, one. Hold it in. Little dips down into your right heel for eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Come up for four, three, two, one. Down for four. Just curtsy. Three, two, one. Row it in for four, three, two, one. Row it out for four, three, two, one. Row it in for four, three, two, one. Come up for four, three, two, one. Keep going. 15 seconds. Down for four. Three, two, one. Up for four. Three, two, one. Row it in for four. Three, two, and one. Let it go. You're going to go into leg sweeps. I'm going to show you on your left leg just so you can see me doing it here. You're going to stay to your two light screens. Make sure your other handle is up on the carriage. Place that handle on your left foot. Your right booty comes down, or your left booty. I'm just showing you the opposite so you can see. You're slowly sweeping it over. 
stopping at your midline, slowly sweeping it back until the ankle is in alignment with your hip, slowly letting it come forward here. I'm gonna switch, so I'm doing it on the right side. This is one of my favorites on the Mega. So I've been determined to try to figure out a way to do it on the micro. We're all gonna hold it back in five, in four, three, two, one. Hold it back for me. Press up and away from your wrist. Don't plant that weight into your shoulder. Little circles clockwise. Clockwise circles, small. You have eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one, counterclockwise circles. Here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Knee in and press it out. So your knee comes into your hip line, press through that heel to send it back out here. Feel that glute firing up. Woo! Keep going. 15 seconds here until we're going back to full range of motion. Here's five. Here's four. Three, two, one. Sweep it forward. Stop at the midline. Keep it at your booty height. Sweep it back. 10 seconds. We're going to go right into your deadlift on your other leg in five. Four, three, two, and one. Deadlift on your other leg. Remember, you can go onto the platform or you can go onto the ground. Left foot is up. Row it in, hold it there. Elbows are at your rib cage. Lower it down, right heel comes up. Slowly come up. Add that bicep curl as you bring your right knee up. Right into your curtsy. You're just switching here with your curtsy and your deadlift. Nice work. You're burning those arms out. Don't forget to keep your elbows glued to your side as you come down for the deadlift and come down for the curtsy. It's like you're in that row, holding back. Don't let those right toes touch the ground as you curtsy. You're also never locking out that left knee. Nice slight bend in it the whole time you're here. We're meeting in that curtsy in 10 seconds. In five, in four, three, two, one. Row it out and in, out. And in, keep going. Here's seven, here's six, here's five, here's four, three, two, one. Hold that row in, little dips into that left heel for five, for four, three, two, one. Now slowly row out for four, three, two, one. Row in for four, three, two, one. Stand up for four, three, two, one, down for four, three, two, one, row it out for four, three, two, one, don't round through your chest, row in for four, three, two, one, stand tall for four, three, two, one, 10 seconds down for four, three, two, one, let it out for four, three, two, one, and you are done. Right into your leg sweep. Hook that other band under your strap for me. Now remember you're coming down to your right glute. This girl loves to play. Right here, from here. Start at the midline, slowly sweep it back. Slowly, let it come forward. Nice work. Sweeping it back as slow as you can go. And forward. Be careful of that right shoulder. It's easy to plant and let
let your weight go into it. I don't want you to do that. Push up and away from it. Your foot is at your booty height the whole time you're here. Nice job, everyone. We're gonna go into those circles in five. Hold it back in four. Three, two, one. Clockwise circles, woo! Feel that outer glute working. Here's five, here's four. Three, two, one. Counterclockwise, 10 seconds. Here's five, four, three, two, one. Let that knee come in to your hip line. Press it right back out. Into the hip line. Press it right back out. Finish that booty strong. Here's five. Right back to full range in four. Three, two, one. Sweep it forward and back. You can always take a spring off if you need to. Ten seconds right here. We're going to go into a serve the platter in five. In four, three, two, and one. Grab both of those handles for me. We are coming into a squat on your back platform. Drop it low. Slowly stand up. As you bring that platter up, slowly release as you drop down. Making sure your knees are right above your heels here. And your elbows are never coming past your rib cage. If you need to take a spring off, go ahead and do it. We're going to come down to the bottom of your squat in five, four, three, two, one. Little pulses with those hands up and back, up and back. Here's five, four, three. Two, one, hold them forward. Little pulses into your heels. Here's five. Here's four. Three, two, one. Let it go. I want everyone to tuck both their straps away, their resistance bands away under your straps so we can finish it out one light spring. We have a little more than two minutes. We're going to start in that giant wheelbarrow. Body weight is right over the well. Slowly send it forward towards the front platform. Nice strong back. Slowly come back until your wrists are right under your shoulders. Before slowly sending it forward again. Pull your belly into your spine. Shoulders away from your ears. Send your shoulders down your spine. Don't put your weight into them. I want you to challenge yourself without overextending. So what I mean by that, push your carriage to your challenge point without letting your form be compromised in any way. And then slowly come back. Forward. Nice and slow. And let it come back. We're going to finish in a giant bear. Let's hold this wheelbarrow forward in five. In four, three, two, one. Send it forward for me. Hold it there for eight, seven. Push into your plank in five, four, three, two, one. Right into your plank. Now slowly bend those knees under your hip line. Slowly press out into your plank. Nice and strong. Out and in. We're going to hold those knees under your hip line in five, in four, three, two, one. Dip them down, lift them up, down and up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover here. Last ten seconds and you are all done. Here's seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, everyone. 25 minutes, 186 calories for me. That was tough. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something new with being able to do it with the resistance bands on the back. Um, 
I definitely wouldn't do that in a full, full class, but it's really fun to do it in a short class and to kind of blend in here and there into other classes too. Let me know if you liked it. And if you did, I would appreciate it if you would share it to Instagram story and tag Legree and me. All right, guys, thank you so much.